In this short video, we are going to do some more derivative examples. All right, so example one is going to be find y prime when y equals x squared cosine y. So what we'll do is you will use the product rule and we have to remember the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So y prime is going to be, take the derivative of the first, 2x times the second, cosine of x, plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now we want to take at least one more step here and clean this up a little bit. So we'll write that as 2x cosine of x minus x squared sine of x. In our second example, we have y equals cotangent of x over radical x. And so I'm going to rewrite radical x as x to the power of 1 half. So I can use the power rule. And now I'll have to use the quotient rule to find y prime. So I'll start with the derivative of the top. The derivative of cotangent will be minus cosecant squared x times the times just the bottom. Now subtract, we'll have the top cotangent of x times the derivative of the bottom, which will be one half x to the negative one half power. And that will be all over the bottom squared. Now we will clean this up a little bit. In fact, I may want to change everything back into radical form. So x to the one half power is radical x. So this would be negative radical x times cosecant squared x minus cotangent of x over 2 radical x all over x. And as a reminder, the derivative of all of the co-functions are always going to be negative. So here we have a function y equals cosine of x times sine of x. And we're asked to find the derivative in three different ways. Uh, so uh, there's actually more than three ways we can do that, but using the rules that we know, uh, we're going to use three different ways. So the first way is probably the most obvious way is we're just going to use the product rule on the function as it is written. So y prime would be the derivative of cosine x, so minus sine of x times sine of x and then add to that cosine of x times the derivative of sine of x, which is just going to be cosine of x. And so that would just be minus sine squared x plus 
cosine squared x. So that's one way. Another way would be to rewrite sine of x as being um, 1 over cosecant of x. So I could write this as cosine x times 1 over cosecant of x. Let's fix that. And so then I could use the quotient rule. My top function is cosine of x. My bottom function is cosecant of x. And so y prime would equal the derivative of the top, which would be negative sine of x times the bottom cosecant of x. Now subtract first function, or top function, cosine of x, times the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of cosecant x is going to be negative cosecant x cotangent x. And that will be all over the bottom square. So cosecant of x squared. And we'll clean that up just a little bit here. I mean, we're going to have minus sine of x cosecant of x this would be minus a minus, so plus cosine of x cosecant of x cotangent of x all over cosecant squared of x. So I can see that there's a common factor of cosecant of x. I could also uh, see that cosine of x times cotangent of x. Can I simplify that? Um, no, we'll just leave it as it is. So I'll be left with minus sine of x plus cosine of x cotangent tangent of x all over cosecant of x. And a third way we could evaluate this derivative would be to write y as sine of x over secant of x, since 1 over secant of x is the same as cosine of x. And then use the quotient rule again. So y prime is going to equal the derivative of the top, which is just cosine of x, times the bottom, secant of x, minus the top, sine of x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is going to be secant x, tangent x, and 
that will be all over the bottom squared. So I can clean this up again a little bit. I see there is a common factor of secant x, so I could write that as cosine of x minus sine of x tangent of x all over secant of x. All right, let's do one more and then we'll take a break and I'll actually make a subsequent video with some more examples. So our question here is to find the slope of the tangent line to y equals 3x squared tangent of x when x equals pi over 4. So I'll need to find the derivative. So y prime equals and what am I going to use here? I'll need to use the product rule. So the derivative of the first is 6x times the second, tangent of x, plus the first, 3x squared, times the derivative of tangent of x, which is secant squared x. Right. And then I'm going to have to evaluate that when x equals pi over 4. So I'll have to remember uh, some of my unit circle facts. So tangent of pi over 4 equals 1 cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So secant of pi over 4 is 1 over cosine of pi over 4. And that simplifies to radical 2. So secant squared pi over 4 would be 2. So I'm going to substitute those values in to my expression for the derivative. So I'm going to have 6 times pi over 4 times 1, that's tangent of pi over 4, plus 3 in parentheses, pi over 4 squared times secant squared, which will just be 2. Secant squared of pi over 4 is 2. So that will give me 3 pi over 2 plus three pi squared over eight, which I could write as a single fraction. So that would be what, 12 pi plus three pi squared all over eight. So like I said, we'll take a break here and then we'll make a subsequent video doing some more examples.